conversation and just having who will be our target AOs on the Philippine side and kind of building, like what we've done, ma'am, for this symposium is like we had a secretariat, yeah. we had an actual OPT, uh, just like what the medical planners workshop had done, an operation planning team who will be in that core. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes ma'am. <laughs> So. I, I just have to present this first together with my team to J1 yes, and then we'll start from there what they want us to do. Exercises and yes. opportunities for uh, operations, activities and investments. I think that that is probably our base. I think that would be ideal. Thank you, sir. And then we we'll let you know if we need. The CEO enough for giving us so much of her time yesterday afternoon. She really gave us a lot of time, uh, which we we're very grateful for. Uh, so one of the things that we've done with VLUNA and a couple of departments, specifically endocrinology and then anesthesiology is sort of a grand rounds uh, between the Uniform Services University and you know, the, the clinical department of VLUNA. Uh, and we happened to be up in the operating room and spoke to one of the anesthesiologists who had been at the, it was a pain management. Yes, that's very important for me. You know, uh, that's what I'm telling them. Uh, we, they expect us to be the experts in medical. I think we learn more from exchanging with each other. So, yes, uh, that's a very much welcome thing, not just for the anesthesia, but at the start probably visiting consultants in emergency medicine, in anesthesia, you know, things like that. Until later, we make it like the full search for it. There was you know, kind of a case presentation of, mm -hmm. of things that you all had experienced from uh, mm -hmm. essentially you know, surgical combat casualty care uh, over the last, say, 10 years or so, the whole team, to okay. include the surgical so, technicians and, yeah. and other, basically the, the corpsmen, if you will, yes. uh, who are involved in that team. Uh, two weeks rotation and, you know, the areas where they will have the cases. We, we would be very happy to do that. I think that v Luna doesn't need infrastructure help that's well on its way to, you know, I, I mean, it's already amazing, but it's getting more amazing. Because they will really welcome us more. <laughs> Discuss it at this point, which is thinking. Honestly, it's just been a, uh, a wonderful week. It's been fantastic. And just thank you for your hospitality and, uh, and your partnership. Just to work. Yes, that's the right. Air Force and the Army also have that. So. That's what we love, the yeah. engineers. Our engineers only. After 38 years. Thank you very much, sir, for your support. 18899 Medical Corps. Congratulations, sir. To our Medical Corps, all by Captain Irene P. Wadasen, 0 18493 Vet Corps. of appreciation to the lead planner from the U.S. Indo-PACOM to represent our other subject matter experts for this training, allowing Joseph Edward F. Piansai Medical Service Corps, U.S. Navy, to his team of subject matter experts. Moving forward. Another one. The Caudacious Cup. With its embroidered plaques to the Philippines and the United States of America, is a tangible representation of the strong partnership and shared purpose between our two allied countries. This cup symbolizes the well established sense of belonging and identity among those who are. Right? In all these areas, we should be working together. And this is because we are a diversity. And it is the unity in our diversity that makes us succeed and that makes us be able to deliver what is expected of us. The efforts of the national government, which is a secondary AFP mission. Remember, we have to sustain support to the mission, and sometimes the mission is not combat. The mission of our troops can be HADR. The mission of us, our troops, and us, the health service, is, like in your scenarios, to augment other countries. So just keep these two things in mind, and I think you will never go, go wrong. In terms of preparation, in terms of attending to the cases, you know that all of these are your mandate. Now, it's not enough that you just give medications for cough and colds or fever, right? 
the regular treatment that they're taking, something can go wrong, right? They, could, they do not die of HIV. They die of the infections that happen because they were not able to maintain their medicines. So these are important things in your medical kits as well. If you're planning such, such uh, air, uh, running the isolation facility, so you have to strategize. Like, how long do they have to do their work? And how long do you give them the breaks? And then, uh, and then analyze, and then recalibrate your plan. Check your plans, what can be done to make it better. And of course, there's what we call the uh, always making sure that we are in each other's back, you know. For U.S. Navy, our co-chairpersons, for spearheading this successful event.